Hey guys, Jordan Matty from Jordan Matty Visuals here in St. John, New Brunswick. I just want to give you a little tip today on how to add a slightly ghetto remote trigger to your Sony A7S rig. If you've shot with the Sony A7S Mark I before, you know how awkward the record button placement is. If you have the Sony A7S Mark II, of course you can customize your buttons and move that record button somewhere else, which solves the problem. But on the Mark I, it's still a little bit hard to find. Now, if you're shooting with a monopod or a tripod, it's not that big of a deal. You just need to reach over and find it and hit record. But if you're shooting on a Ronin gimbal like this, I need to set up for my shot, reposition my hands like this, hit record, get my hands back in position, and then start rolling for my shot. For me, this usually means a lot of extra unwanted footage at the beginning and the end of each clip that I then need to trim down and post. So for the longest time, I've been trying to figure out a cheap and easy way to have my Sony A7S rig set up so that I can have my hands on the handles and reach the record button without having to move around too much and then recompose my shot again when I start rolling. This is where the Fodga RM VS1 remote comes in. Now I realize this is a much less cool, less classy way of having a remote trigger on your Sony A7S rig, especially compared to a $2,000 Zacuto rig, but I'll tell you for $40 and for the functionality it gives, I'm more than happy to have this thing strapped onto the Ronin or my shoulder rig to give me the shots that I want. So this remote is really a simple little device. It has a record, start and stop button. It has a power on and off button to put your camera on standby or take it off standby. It has a lock button and it has a zoom in and out button which is going to be useless to you with your Sony a7S because you have to zoom your lenses manually anyway. On the back end it has a little quarter inch screw as well as a velcro strap so you can attach it to your rig with either one of those two options. So when I want to use this remote with my Ronin all I have to do is plug it into the side of my Sony a7S, run the cord up along the top of the Ronin and attach the remote to my handle with a velcro strap. I make sure the record button is facing me so that my thumb can easily access it. I'll then coil up the extra wire with another velcro strip and wrap it around the top of the Ronin to make sure the cord is totally out of the way and then I'm good to go. So there you have it, a cheap and easy way to add a remote trigger to your Sony A7S rig. If you found this video helpful, like it, subscribe, and check back for more videos soon.